60s might be synonymous with London, but from today, a state-of-the-art fleet of double-decker buses will be part of the scenery in Cornwall. Yes, bus operator First Curnow has officially unveiled its new fleet, having spent £7.4 million on them. They come complete with tables and free Wi-Fi, but will they actually improve the service? Well, Lucy Fisher went along for the ride. It's certainly true they don't want people to miss the fact these buses are being launched. Oh, yay! So how are they going down with locals? Fantastic. It's really great to have some new, new um, things for Cornwall. And I think the future is buses for Cornwall. We need to have more and more to get around. Surprised to see the red bus. Wow, wow, it's a red bus. <laughs> Tinner. Um, but yeah, nice. Driving just bad things of Ellen. Called the Tinner, they've been carefully branded with a Cornish twist. And there's more. So the idea is that these are going to be modern buses for the modern world. So they're fitted with USB ports and within the next year, they'll be contactless so you can pay with a card. It's a major investment at seven and a half million pounds. Has it come at another cost? Did you cherry pick services to have those most profitable? No, no, we, we have obviously put these vehicles on to our busiest routes. That's common commercial business sense. We've got to make these buses pay for them. So, but the ongoing plan then is to obviously start to improve the rest of the network. We're in the process of designing the network, the process of working out how to do smart ticketing so people can buy products on both networks to, to serve both networks and we're looking at a, a route network which covers as comprehensive area of Cornwall as we possibly can. Overall feedback here has been positive. A new bus for a new age. I think any improvement in public transport is good for us and good for the environment. We get so excited now every time we're driving down the A30. Oh tinner! Oh tinner! There's this big red thing coming up yeah and they're shiny and they're new and they're just lovely. Lucy Fisher, BBC Spotlight, Truro. Now.